There we go. Hey, how's it going boys? I know it's been a quick minute since I made a video like this. A lot of stuff has been happening over this past several months and everything, especially with tournaments. I just came back from New York not too long ago. Shout out to NY Insomnia. I still have videos from the last two tournaments, the 4v4 and the Syndicate tournament, so I'm still making that. I have more available time now that the season is almost over. But aside from that, I do have something new that I did want to share with you guys that I am going to use today on the field. That is the Jag Arms Scatter Gun. If you guys don't know what that is, Jag Arms do make specific shotguns that that are pretty much replicas of the Tokyo Marui Breacher. Just, you know, a little bit more cheaper, maybe not as durable, but it's really fun to use. You guys have seen this before, it's the Tokyo Marui Breacher. I have used this in a few videos. Um, I HPA tapped it and everything. I did have a few accessories on it, especially with the tracer, the Picatinny Rail, but I put all of that onto the Jag Arms Scattergun. The Scattergun Reaper, as you see here, it is similar to a TM Breacher in most ways, except for durability. So on this shoddy, I have the old PCU tracer, as you can see here, it's still 3D printed. I believe the more updated ones have a little bit of aluminum for the same price $200 is a bit of a reach for a tracer <laughs> out of the net I do have the Picatinny rail this is a GMP rail that you can I think you could probably find on eBay still for about 20 bucks I'm gonna keep this gas and of course I have the primary airsoft mag adapter as you see there I did have to take off you know the little top cover in order for this to completely fit on there otherwise it wouldn't be able to another modification I did have to do unfortunately is this handguard here. The handguard is actually a little bit longer and if you cock it all the way back, it won't do that because the adapter and the Picatinny rail would be in the way. You can probably see the fine cuts I did with the Dremel, see the difference that it makes. I wouldn't be able to rack it back all the way and actually get a good shot. You can see when I rack it all the way back, it is barely touching the M4 adapter right there. So I did make a good clean cut. I made it to where it's not gonna bug me too much when I do rack it back on the field. Similar to the Breacher, when you do cock it back, you have the option to either put three or six. For now, I'll probably just use three. This is definitely something I want to use for a limited class or even on a speed field, rec field, but you'll see a lot more gameplay with this in the future. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the field. There we go. We're good. Yes, sir. Good shot, good shot. There's one kid peeking, he's one kid about to peek. He's at the doorway, I see him, he's peeking. He's still behind the wall. <laughs> yeah, one in the hallway over here. Uh, Travis, don't count. Got two, got two. Whew. Watch the window. Window. Yeah. Yep. Let's go, son. I see you, son. I got a long range. Go 
I'm out. Dead man, dead man. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, bro, come on. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I love you. Kitchen. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, coming out. Now, coming out. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Good shit, bro. Oh, I didn't get your sleeve? Oh shit, my bad, my bad. My bad, brother. Oh, now you're good, bro. Okay.